This video is about how to stop being a serious person. And there are four things to consider that stop taking your life, everything, so damn seriously. To find out these four things, please stay tuned to this video. Welcome to the SCG Show, the home of education entertainment. And please do me a favor, if you really enjoyed this video, smash that like button, I would really appreciate it. How would you describe a serious uptight person? A person who is grave, humorless, long-faced, pensive, sober, solemn, stern, thoughtful, unsmiling, to name a few. Does any of what I've just said resonate with you? Have people often accused you of being too stiff and serious? Do you have no idea how to truly express yourself without feeling anxious? Of course, there are some things we must take seriously. When my dad died, I had to take that seriously. When he was dying and ill, and I had to call an ambulance, of course, I had to take it seriously. I wasn't exactly dancing to some music or doing cartwheels. I took it seriously. So there's a time and a place for serious. But to be a serious person about almost everything? Just the other day, a friend of mine refused to come out for a drink with me and some other friends. Because get this, he said, I have to speak to this girl I'm seeing to keep her happy. Jesus, even texting has to be serious. What has the world come to? Then I had another female friend who, get this, cannot go out for a meal without her laptop in case she has to do some work. I refuse to eat with her now, as she always brings the laptop and opens it up and types rigorously away when we're in the middle of a meal. This is on her days off, with no deadlines at all. It's a mess. There is a seriousness pandemic going on. People even take social media too seriously. A very vain and narcissistic man I once knew of told me he must take 100 selfies of himself and edit it in the right way before he would publish it. He's not famous, not an influencer, just a regular guy with like three, 400 followers. Give me a break. Look, I'm not saying act like a buffoon or a clown, but for goodness sake, people, Let's loosen up a little bit here. Life is too short. Just lost my father. God rest his soul. Here is how to stop being such a serious person. For the love of God, please stop taking dating so seriously. It's probably the reason that either you're single or having a hard time in a relationship. Don't worry, I was just like you. I was hell-bent on rushing in, settling down. I made the dream of being married by 30 when I was 21. And I was single when I did that. It was only after being locked down, tragically losing dad, did I realise you can't take life too seriously. And dating is a prime example. Once you start taking dating too seriously, the worst happens. I'll tell you exactly how I used to do this and how foolish I was. As a single man, I would load up the dating apps in the past with the hopes of finding the one. So even before I've matched with someone, I've already put pressure on myself. And I had to psych myself up and prepare myself for a date, assuming that it has to go well and so on and so forth. Then I would need to be ready to chat to them when we match, plan and set dates, be sure the date goes well, organize a second date on the first, keep up to tabs with my dates, ask to go to that next level, ask why we're not going to that next level, then think and plan the next stage, think about marriage, kids, and then boom. I'd crash and burn to only keep repeating the cycle again and again. For men, this is so unattractive a quality to come across to women. I was naturally coming across as very needy because I assumed I had to take dating so damn seriously. Look, I'm not suggesting you just need to sleep around and do what you need to do. But if you want to have a girlfriend or boyfriend, why not instead go with the flow? If you build a natural connection and you genuinely get on, it's going to happen. You will want to spend time together. There will be no pressure. Of course, do the dating apps. Go on the date. But guys and girls, stop taking dating so seriously. Instead, just enjoy the journey. Are you enjoying this video? If you are, please hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. Let's talk about careers. Now, understand I'm not suggesting that you don't take work seriously. 
As an entrepreneur myself, I take enormous pride in my work very seriously. Take this YouTube channel and my blog as an example. I work hard on both and I make sure I put the right amount of effort, time and energy into expanding the SCG show. But when I was once upon a time working an admin job for an awful narcissistic boss, I did the same. I took the job too seriously. I absolutely hated it. I generally thought I would work my way up into being a head administrator for this firm I worked with. What was I thinking? My boss was a racist tyrant. The job was dull. There was no growth. I hated everything about it. You can try your best to fake being so professional, so serious. But if you're in the wrong industry, job, career, business, service, it's going to show. That is why it's vitally important to discover what you want to do career-wise. Lee Steinfeld was a hotshot lawyer, and whilst good at his job, he never really liked it. His true passion, and what he got excited about, was Pokemon cards, of all things. So he started his own YouTube channel, called Leon Heart. Since doing so, Lee now has over 1 million subscribers, and does that channel full-time, leaving his career as a lawyer behind. Imagine how serious a life he would have had if he remained a lawyer. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but instead, this guy opens up Pokemon cards on a camera to over 1 million subscribers almost every day. Pokemon cards. You could be a serious person because you're being fake professional, forcing yourself to do a job you don't want to do, forcing yourself to be too serious when that's not who you really are. We live in modern times where hobbies and interests can actually become full-time businesses. Have a look at your career. Is it making you too serious a person? If so, you might want to change it. Do you take socialising a little too seriously? Like dating, you shouldn't need to or want to. I spent my late teens and early 20s being so serious about socialising. I always had to be out somewhere. I always had to be around a certain amount of people and doing certain amounts of things. I always had to be talking to people. I forced myself to change my personality to be around certain people too. But to what benefit? Friends come and go. Even family do. My best friend now is myself and my wallet. My wallet gives me the freedom financially to do whatever I want. I stopped taking socialising and social events so seriously. I know a guy who's got really bad social anxiety, hates every sort of party or function because he takes it too seriously. He said he has to be either blind drunk in a corner somewhere to enjoy himself. I finally confronted him on this and he admitted to me, I don't want people to think I'm lame. Who cares? I mean, seriously, who cares what these other people think? He did not want to be at these parties and events anyway, yet he forced himself to act serious in a desperate attempt to be accepted and come across cool. See the irony there? Do what you want socially, guys. Go what you want. Enjoy yourself. Make friends and associate with people who genuinely want the best for you. Try your hardest to avoid fake people. And for the love of God, if it is a wedding office party, whatever. Stop being so serious at a party of all places. Finally, let your hair down. Life is too short to be bloody serious. My dad had his fun moments, but he too was serious. He'd work too much, take too much on at once, and never enjoy himself the older he became. One of the last vacations he had before he passed was with a couple who were friends of his. And the couple were retired, travelled a lot, and had so much fun. Halfway through the trip, apparently, my dad opened up to his friend on his life. The friend told me about this recently. My father was alone with his friend on this vacation in this resort. They were staying in, and he got emotional. He said to this friend, I had no idea how badly I needed this trip. Thank you, my dad said. Then only a few months later, my dad passed away, incredibly young, tragically, with no underlying issues. At least my father had a glimpse of a non-serious life. He even texted me and my family when he was in hospital, 
24 hours before his sedation to say, when I get out of here, I want to travel. I don't care about work. I just want to be with my family. And then two weeks later, he passed away. Guys, please stop taking life too seriously. Make plans, have goals, dreams, desires, sure. But as the saying goes, man makes plans and God laughs at them. Just enjoy yourself. Be silly. Have a laugh. Stop being so uptight, stiff, rigid about everything. What will be, will be. So you might as well enjoy this journey, this wonderful thing that we all have. This thing called life. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, like and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, here's some more content you might be interested in.